Hello everyone, welcome to class series and in this video, we'll gonna be discussing our question answers of the chapter, The Gentleman of the Jungle. So let's get into the question answers part. Our first question is, what favor did the elephant ask the man on a rainy day? The answer for this question is, the elephant asked the man if the man would let the elephant put his trunk inside the hut of the man in order to protect the trunk from the torrential rain. Our second question is, according to the man, his hut had room only for him, true or false? The answer of this question is false. Our third question is, how did the elephant sneak into the man's hut? The answer for this question is, after putting the trunk inside the hut, the elephant slowly pushed his head inside and finally threw the man out in the torrential rain. Our fourth question is, According to the elephant, the man can afford to remain in the rain because Option A. The skin of the man is harder than his Option B. The skin of the elephant is delicate Option C. The skin of the elephant is harder than that of man The correct answer for this question is Option B. The skin of the elephant is delicate Our fifth question is how did the lion decide to solve the problem? The answer for this question is The lion decided to appoint an imperial commission of inquiry to solve the problem of the man. Okay? Our sixth question is What kind of judgment did the man expect? The answer for this question is The man thought that his hurt would be returned to him and that justice would be done. Our seventh question is, why was the man unhappy with the members of the commission of inquiry? The answer for this question is, the man was unhappy with the members of the commission of inquiry because there was no representation from his side. Our eighth question is, according to the elephant, the man had invited him into the hut. Option A, to save his skin. Option B, to give shelter to his trunk. Option C, to save the hurt from the hurricane. Option D. To fill the empty space in the hurt. The correct answer for this question is Option C. To save the hurt from the hurricane. Our ninth question is In whose favor was the judgment given? The answer for this question is In the favor of elephant, the judgment was given. Our tenth question is Why did the man accept the suggestion of building a new hurt? The answer for this question is the man had no alternative as he was afraid that his refusal to build another hut on another site would expose him to the teeth and claws of members of the commission. Our eleventh question is, how did the man buy peace finally? The answer for this question goes as, the man built a big hut to accommodate all the animals and when all the animals got inside the hut and started fighting among themselves, he burned that big hut along with all the lords of the jungle. So this is our comprehension first part. Let's move on to our second comprehension part in that our first question is, why was the commission of inquiry appointed by the king of the jungle? So you will start your answer as, this question is excited from our chapter, The Gentleman of the Jungle and it is written by Jomo Kenyatta. After writing this, you will continue your answer with your main answer. You will continue by writing, The king of the jungle claimed that he wanted peace and tranquility in his kingdom. With his sweet words, he convinced the man that justice would be given to him through the findings of commission. Thus, commission of inquiry was appointed by the king of the jungle under the pretext of doing justice to the man. Our second question is, why did the animals decide not to have anyone from the man's side on the commission of inquiry? You will start with your answer as, this question is extracted from our chapter, The Gentleman of the Jungle, and it is written by Jomo Kenyatta. The animals decided not to have anyone from the man's side on the commission of inquiry based on the argument that there was no one well-educated from the man's side to know the 
intricacies of the jungle law however the unstated truth is the fact that right from the beginning the commission had no intention of doing any justice to the man and hence had representatives only from the elephant side ironically the elephant himself against whom the case was registered constituted the commission along with the other ministers of the king our third question is how did the elephant justify its act of occupying the hut you will write in your answer as this question is extracted from our chapter gentlemen of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta the elephant had absolutely no qualms while justifying its tertial occupation of the man's hut it deposed before the commission that the man had asked the elephant to save his hut from the hurricane and as the hurricane had gained access to the hut owing to the unoccupied space in the hut the elephant had put the empty underdeveloped space to a more economic use by occupying it our fourth question is do you think the verdict of the commission of the inquiry was on expected lines why you will write your answer as this question is extracted from our chapter gentlemen of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta as expected the judgment was in the favor of the elephant because all the members of the commissions were representatives from the elephant side moreover none of the jungle representatives cared for justice they were all selfish and hypocritical people just as the jungle king lion himself was our fifth question is what fate awaited the man each time he built a new house this question is extracted from our chapter the gentleman of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta each time the man built a new house it was forcefully occupied by one or the other animal of the jungle kingdom the man was thrown out of his own house the man state was really pitiable because each time he was promised justice but each time he was denied justice so these were our questions in our comprehension second part let's move on to our comprehension third part in that our first question is do you agree with the action of the man at the end why so as we know that this is our six markers question in the question of six markers you have to write three things the first thing is introduction part basically this question is extracted from this chapter and the author's name okay in the second part you have to write little bit introduction of the author and in the third part you will write your main answer okay so our first question will start as this question is extracted from our chapter the gentleman of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta then after writing this you will be writing 3 to 4 lines of author's introduction that you have to find out what you will be writing okay just go in the textbook and you have author's introduction there then after you write author's introduction you will continue with your main answer as the man's action can be understood as justified punishment we must remember the fact that after having tried repeatedly for justice in a peaceful manner and only after being wrongly repeatedly does the man go to the extreme extent of burning down the hut along with all the animals inside even here the truth remains that if the animals hadn't illegally occupied the hut which was not built by them the tragic fate wouldn't have fallen on them thus in whichever angle we take the man's action can be understood and justified we should remember that tolerating crime is as bad as committing it our second question is an act of kindness is misunderstood as weakness discuss this with reference to the story you will start your answer as this question is extracted from our chapter the gentleman of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta then after this you will be writing your author's introduction then after writing author's introduction you will continue with your main answer the main answer goes as the man's act of kindness of letting the elephant put his trunk inside the hut in order to protect the trunk 
from the heavy rain is taken undue advantage of by the elephant the elephant does not have the grace to understand an act of kindness and takes it as a sign of weakness in its selfishness it does great injustice to a friend who rises to the occasion in the true spirit of a friend in need further the elephant takes recourse to the argument that other animals in his position would have done the same our next question is peace is costly but it is worth the expense what is the ironical significance of this statement you will start your answer as this question is extracted from our chapter the gentleman of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta after this you will be writing your author's introduction then after that you will be continuing with your main answer the words peace is costly but it is worth the expense are ironically used because the man had to lose his hurts repeatedly before he finally overcome his enemies with a trick ordinarily we do not talk in terms of money when we when we talk of peace but in the case of the man peace gets linked to his property in terms of colonization to peace gets linked to the wealth because the natives are colonized for their wealth by the colonizers however the urge for freedom remains alive in the hearts of the colonized and all the sacrifice made will be considered worthy of the effort our fourth question is every fable ends with a moral what moral do you find in this story this question is extracted from our chapter the gentleman of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta after this author's introduction then after this main answer the main answer starts as the moral of this fable lines in the warning given to the powerful animals it is clearly seen that the meek can overcome the mighty if the meek are pushed against the wall if the mighty think that they can continue unabated in their wrong doing they will be proved wrong by the meek our fifth question is do you think the story can be read as a political satire on colonialism the answer starts as this question is extracted from our chapter the gentleman of the jungle and it is written by jomo kenyatta after this author's introduction then after this main answer it is clear that the story is an allegory with a moral the world of animals is pitted against the man to suggest that among human beings some are like animals in their cruelty it is definitely a political satire which shows the cunning and selfish ways of the colonizers in their relationship with the natives the story mocks at arrogant attitudes of the colonizers who think that it is their duty to reform the backward natives they justify all their selfish acts by covering up their selfish deeds with the argument that they have been sent by god himself for the good deed the author uses terms like better economic use to suggest that trade and commerce the colonizers established in the colonized country